credit cousins, it's your girl designer Soapbox and I am back with another banger video. So today I got some juicy tips and tricks for my credit cousins that are looking for ways to get negative items deleted off their credit report. Have you experienced sending a debt validation letter to a creditor in our collection agency for the negative items on your credit report but the letter was returned? Well, if you mail your debt validation letter to the address of the collector creditor that is listed on your credit report and it comes back returned, that means they are reporting inaccurate data because they provide a false or outdated address to reach them on their credit report. Now, here's what you can do to challenge the credit bureaus to get them to remove the negative items that this credit agency is reporting. Once the item is returned to your address, you can then make a copy of the returned mail and send it to the credit bureaus as proof and request removal. You would want to state that the creditor is not reporting correctly as the Fair Credit Reporting Act requires them to report accurate information. The return letter is proof that they are not. More importantly, they had an obligation under Section 609 of the Fair Debt Collection Practice Act to correspond directly with you within five days of their reporting to the credit reporting agency of your rights to dispute, commonly called the Dunning Letter. So you should have the credit or agency response address sent to you in your Dunning Notice. They cannot notice you of your Dunning rights and not provide you a current address address for response to their notice. If you previously responded to the address contained in the credit reporting agency file and it was returned, see if the address given in the Dunning letter is different. If so, send a renewed debt validation letter request to that address and add the protest that the address reported to the credit reporting agency was not accurate and thus not in the credit reporting act of compliance. If they did not timely respond to you, then you have documented non-compliance with the Fair Debt Collection Practice Act. If you decide to dispute, then send this letter to the credit bureaus with all of the other needed info. I will also have this letter available for download on my website at designersellbots.com. So let's just dive right into what the letter says. So first you will add a date, which is the date that I recommend on the day that you're going to send this letter to the credit bureaus. Add the credit reporting agency bureau name, city, state, and zip code. Then the letter says, to who it may concern, I recently attempted to contact a collection agency and you'll name the collection agency in the account number um, that is listed on your credit report. At the address listed on the credit report, the letter I sent has been returned to me undeliverable because the company forwarding address expired. We turned to sender. The creditor agency doesn't exist in the address mentioned in my credit report and I have included a copy of both sides of the envelope for your review. As you are aware, under the 15 USC 168LI Fair Credit Reporting Act, you are required to report only accurate information. You have already violated federal law by repeatedly reporting inaccurate information. For this is a violation of federal law that I have a right to seek remedy as it has caused me damage in how I am viewed by lenders in terms of loans received. However, I ordered to achieve an amicable resolution of this matter. I request that within five days of the receipt of this letter that the trade line associated with this complaint complaint be deleted from my file as prescribed by the Federal Credit Report Act. If this demand is not met, I will hand the matters to my attorney. I have included copies of my identifying information to prove my identity. So you will also include your driver's license um, with this letter and if your driver's license have the different address as your mailing address then you would include either a energy bill, uh, a pg and &E bill, or a lease uh, of some sort that has the current address. Okay, so back to the letter. I look forward to an expedited conclusion to this issue. Sincerely, your name. So, credit cousins, make sure you leave a like on this video. That will tell me that you are picking up what I'm putting down. And let me know in the comments have you received a mail returned undeliverable letter when, dis when disputing with the credit agencies? 
Will you use this letter in the future? Make sure you comment down below your experience using this method and if you are comfortable so other credit cousins can learn about it. Remember, this channel is all about learning from each other and I look forward to your feedback. And don't forget guys, I love you all. Bye. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm here to let you know that today will be the last day that the Instant Heart Ink Removal Guide will be for sale. So if you haven't got it, please make sure you click the link down in the description below to learn how you can remove your heart increase in as little as 24 hours. Yes, 24 hours you can remove your increase. So click the link down below in the description box to learn how you can remove your late payments, heart increase, collections, charge offs, and so much more you don't want to miss out.
Hey, are you looking to build your business credit like a boss? Well, you're in luck. I've created this awesome ebook where you can learn how to build business credit and get over $500,000 in business funding. It's on sale right now, $40 on sale. Original price is $125. I am giving you guys this at a highly discounted price, but only 100 copies will be sold at this price. Click the link in the description below or in the pinned comments. You are already a boss, but why not get that business credit like a boss?